kill me in one hit. This has uh, <laughs> not been a good fight for me. Um, the Mega Nuke seems to come really, really freaking fast in this version. Um, you get Mega Nuke twice before you can even get a, a full round of spells off. So, uh... You pretty much gotta rely on the three people you got left, if you got them left. It's probably gonna knock Rose out. No, that's not bad. I can deal with that. That's not that bad. It's just that double Mega Nuke right off the bat is kind of weird. Nothing happened in the PlayStation version quite like that. But that's okay. We got a fatty loot, sweet ass reward for that. Alright, so that's Crystal Sword. Best sword in the game for Cecil. Um, you can see the stat increase, I don't have to tell you. I'm gonna run back. No. Puppies were getting kind of upset with me in the fact that I hadn't uh, given them some food in the past four or five hours. So. They are filled up and ready to go. Now I can continue on with my uh, epic quest. Alright, I got my crystal sword, so we're just going to continue on, hit the save spot. Alright, welcome back to uh, the Final Fantasy 4 slash 2 walkthrough. Alright, we're going to backtrack to where we were since we got the crystal sword. It's uh, pretty much one of the final secrets to find. We're going to keep working our way back around here. Not a whole terrible lot to say about what's going on in this area. The only way you're going to get away from these guys is to use smoke, by the way. It's, I think it's called something else in the Japanese and PlayStation version, but... It's up to you to figure out uh, what the name is. My monster encounter right here is huge. You got a chest up here. I always fight the trickers. So yeah, uh, just do not use a lightning spell on them. If you use a lightning spell, you're gonna regret it. Easy kill. Not much XP or anything like that, but uh, got some monsters here. Seems like a waste of uh, MP, but it's really not. There's a save point right around the corner, and the uh, heroin uh, the chest piece comes around, and we've got white already on Rosa, which we just picked up not long ago. Still sitting with Sorcerer on Rydia, so we're just going to throw that on her. Gives her a huge defense buff.
All right, we're well on our way to our save point here. So, I'm gonna hit the save point real quick. Or I'm gonna run over it 16 times. Anyways, go ahead and uh, take your time, uh, rest up, get your health and mana back, and uh, this is gonna be the final save point in the game. So, um, any grinding you're gonna do is gonna be here, just outside this room. Uh, get your save, and uh, we'll uh, continue on here shortly. Alright, here we go. Alright, you're gonna do massive, massive damage to this guy really, really fast. So, uh, we got a couple of spare Excaliburs here. We're gonna burn those. That just barely bumped his uh, health pool right there. He, now you've got a 10 count to get all your crap ready and blow him up. If not, you're you lose. All right, we had three uh, three left on our timer there. That was good, and we got uh, the white spear. Actually, on the second best uh, spear in the game, believe it or not, for Kane, the last spear is a uh, extremely rare drop for him, which uh, is one that can cause instant death. Kind of like the uh, black sword we had earlier in the game, except this one uh, I believe can affect any enemy. I don't think it matters. It can affect like a behemoth or something like that, which we're going to come up on those guys again here shortly. So uh, that's uh, that's that battle right there. So we're going to uh, run back across here to the save point, and uh, so we hit this. I'm just going to. Uh, Save up, heal up, and uh, we'll give it another run on the uh, next room. <laughs> 